Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Naturally LJ. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of my new subscribers, as well as welcome all of my old subscribers back. You guys know I appreciate you guys so much, and thank you guys so much for rocking out with me. In this video, it's going to be all about my favorite shampoos, and I'm going to talk about my favorite conditioners as well. I'm going to show you guys what works for my hair. All of these products that I'm going to mention in this video, I have used on my type 4 hair. And my hair absolutely love these products. Definitely leave me some comments in the section below. You guys know I love talking to you guys. I love dialoguing with you guys. Also, the whole point of leaving comments is to so that other naturalistas can go through and look at the comments and maybe it's something that I'm not aware of or it's another shampoo that's really good or definitely just, of course, tell me what your favorite shampoos are. If I've mentioned a, a, a shampoo, excuse me, of mine that I really, really like, and I'm sorry, I got to take a... Whew, that was good okay if i've mentioned a shampoo that you guys have uh also been able to use as well definitely leave it in the comment section below let me know you guys know i love talking to you i try my best to respond to each and every person and make each and every person feel special because you guys do not have to take the time and dialogue with me and talk to me and just leave me beautiful comments i appreciate it so much so jumping right in Let's start off with the shampoos. Like I said, I will be mentioning conditioners as well. <sighs> Let's talk about the shampoo. I just did a video yesterday. Can y'all believe that LJ has actually put up two videos in a row? What's LJ on? I don't know. But let's talk about it. Camille Rose, the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. It's with castor and aniseed oil. It says it loves all curl types and textures. Now, this video is going to be about what works for my type for hair because you guys know I am a type for natural. Do y'all see them edges laid? Do you see the edges? Do y'all see? Do I have to mention what I use? Y'all already know. Okay. So, the Camille Rose Naturals Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. You guys, this shampoo right here, I love to use on my type 4 hair a shampoo that is, for one, very moisturizing, very, very creamy. It lathers up, but it does not leave my hair stripped, which means it's squeaky clean. And this is what this shampoo gives my hair. That's why I, the first time I used it, I brought another one. And then with my Camille Rose order that I just got in the mail yesterday, I got some more. This shampoo leaves my hair literally that squeaky clean feeling, but it's moisturized after right before I get ready to apply the conditioner. It's moisturized, you guys. It does not leave my hair feeling like it's just completely stripped of all of the oils because, you know, our scalp, I feel like it makes, and I think it does, it makes natural oils anyway. So I feel like this shampoo gives me exactly what I need without stripping my hair of all its oils in, in its entirety. And it leaves my scalp completely clean. You guys, I do suffer from, and it could be, maybe it's, the, you know, it's just time for my hair to be. I do suffer from a little dandruff. Um, and the dandruff has always been in like... I'm going to show y'all exactly where it is. It's almost like right in the crown. My mom, who takes pleasure in scratching me and my sister's hair, she loves, I don't know, she just always have. But she always say, Jerky, you don't have any dandruff back here. It's always like, probably from my ears up. And it's just always, always been like that. The very back of my hair never has dandruff. But... This shampoo right here, it says it's also sulfate free, you guys. This shampoo right here does not strip my hair and make it feel like a Brillo pad or make it feel like straw or hay. If you're looking for a really, really good shampoo, you guys, this shampoo, I will, I mean, this is a staple. This right here is a staple of mine. Um, it just is. I mean, of course, I have different brands of products. And, of course, I would love to just try different kind of shampoos that especially go along with the brand or the, you know, the products in its entirety that I'm using for that particular day. But when it comes to my one, one of my staple shampoos, it is definitely the Camille Rose Naturals, the Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. You guys, if you've never tried it, definitely get your hands on it this shampoo runs about twelve dollars i think but it is so worth it and a little bit goes a very long way you and y'all know i'm heavy-handed you guys know i'm heavy-handed when it comes to products but when it comes to this a little bit go it's like as soon as it hits your hands and then you it's just like and you only maybe used a quarter size i promise you you do not need an entire lot of that um 
what I want the line I want to talk about next, you guys, is cream of nature. And I have actually over here their mango and shea butter. This is the ultra moisturizing shampoo. And this video, of course, is going to be for those naturalistas that's suffering from dry hair and just looking for a good, any of these products I'm mentioning, they're good with moisture, maintaining the moisture. It's getting ready to get hot. You guys know most of us just came out of the winter months into the spring and the summer. And some of us still experience that dry hair, the, the humidity outside and just you, if if some anybody works out, you have to keep your hair cleansed, you guys. The cream of nature. One thing I can say about cream of nature, and I can attest to it, any cream of nature shampoo has never steered me wrong. Let me say that again. Any cream of nature shampoo that I've used, and I've used tons of cream of nature, the different lines. This is the mango and shea butter. This one right here is the moisture, the pure honey, the moisturizing dry defense. Any of cream of nature shampoos that I have, you know, used on my hair, they have never steered me wrong. They're always so creamy, and you just see the, do y'all see the, the paralyzed look of this shampoo, the pearlized look. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This moisture, that creamy feeling, their shampoos always lather up really well, and that's what I like to see. Most people can probably care less about the lather. I like to see my hair lather up and use the, you know, sometimes I will use my nails, but I use try to use the pads of my fingers to massage my scalp to make sure that my scalp is just clean. But any of Cream of Nature products, you guys, Cream of Nature, first of all, Cream of Nature has been around since I was a little girl. I'm in my late 30s, and I won't tell y'all how old I am, just late 30s, officially late 30s this year. But seriously, Cream of Nature has been around for a long time. And when I tell you they knocked it out of the ballpark with their natural line, you guys, because, you know, back in the day, perms and relaxers, perms and relaxers, and maybe getting your hair straightened with a, a pressing cone was the thing. Natural just kind of came on the scene, what, maybe 10 years ago or something like that. And now, of course, it's a big thing. That's why a lot of these hair companies, you guys, are going towards making natural hair products because a lot of us naturalists, we're going back, we're going, we're taking it back. Okay, so you guys, cream of nature. I will speak at these two in particular. Also, their coconut milk, and this is the conditioner, but I just want to talk about their coconut milk line. Um, what's the other line back there? Their argan oil line. That sh I mean, all of any any shampoo by cream of nature. I pretty much tried them. You can't go wrong. Now, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. And, of course, it's just to each his own. It's like a nose. We all have an opinion. It's like a nose. Look, that's my opinion on Cream of Nature. I have never been steered wrong using any kind of Cream of Nature shampoos. So, definitely. Um, and, and then, too, on top of that, the cost is very affordable. Like, this at my local beauty supply store was $4.49. And this is um, 12 ounces of shampoo. And it's still... I still have shampoo left in here. And this is the Mango and Shea Butter ultra moisturizing shampoo and it says it's for dehydrated hair so any of you naturally are suffering with dry dehydrated hair check out check out cream of nature for the win i promise you um here's another shampoo that i've used before you guys and if you guys have used this let me know about this ozzy moist anything that says moist moisturizing i'm all for it because i tend to have dry hair and i have to keep my hair moisturized this thick stuff you guys i have to keep some kind of shampoo in my hair that in rotation if i'm not using one of my staples i have to keep so any shampoo i use i like for it to say moist Ozzy shampoo, you guys. This is very affordable. And, of course, it's for all types of hair. I've used it before several times. And also, along with it, I've used their conditioner as well. And the conditioner says that it's moist. So, this is the Ozzy Moist line. I think Ozzy has several different kinds of shampoo. But when it comes to your girl, Naturally LJ, looking for a shampoo, I'm trying to get something that's going to maintain that moisture. So, Ozzy Moist shampoo maybe at Walmart or Target for three bucks. Two, two, three bucks. You can't go wrong with this either. Okay. Um, and I talked about the conditioner with that. Well, I go back to that. 
what else oh kinky tresses for the win you guys y'all know how i feel about kinky tresses and i have a little bit left in here still this is her avocado infusion sulfate free moisturizing shampoo cleanses the hair and scalp without stripping away natural oils didn't i just talk about natural oils moisturize it at, moisturizes as it cleans for dry brittle hair you guys i will forever forever talk about kinky tresses their whole entire line if you have ever tried anything by kinky tress that her products are just so good and i think she's one of the most underrated natural and i said it here first she's one of the most underrated natural hair product lines she has one of the most underrated natural hair product lines out right now kinky tresses you guys this stuff is absolutely amazing it smells so clean and just it just smells clean that's it the shampoo smells clean okay i can't remember on her website how much this is somebody correct me if i'm wrong i'm thinking it's anywhere between 12 maybe 10 and 13 dollars or something like that but definitely, you guys, if you're looking for a good moisturizing shampoo, this is the Avocado Infusion Sulfate-Free Moisturizing Shampoo. Get you some. You won't go wrong with kinky tresses. Um, and last but not least, when it comes to the last shampoo that I'm going to talk about is, well, next to last. This is Not Your Mother's Naturals, the Tahitian Garden Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Shampoo. It's for curly hair. Curly hair restores bounce to enhance and define curl. I really enjoyed using this product, but I will be honest with you, I enjoyed the conditioner more. Um, the condi the shampoo was very moisturizing. Um, let me see if I can. Yeah, it's a little runny, but it's very moisturizing. Oh gosh, and it smells so good, y'all. It smells really good, but it's very moisturizing. Do y'all see that? That pearlized look I was telling you guys about again. It's very moisturizing. It's not as thick as the uh, some uh, some of the other shampoos. This is more, if I had to compare any of these shampoos, this is more on the really runny, runny. Some shampoos have like a nice, you know, a thickness about it. This one is, y'all just seen it. It's kind of runny. But this shampoo is really good. If you just happen to be, I've only seen this in my local Ulta and Walgreens. If you happen to be in Walgreens and see it on sale, I would recommend it as a good shampoo to use. Now, I'm not sure about the other lines because I think they have a yellow one, a purple one, and like a teal color bottle. And I don't know what they say. Only the pink line is what Naturally LJ recommends, okay? And like I say, I'm recommending this for type 4 naturals. Just that thick, kinky hair that you just... We out here thrives. If you're a type 4 natural, it thrives off being moisturized, um, oiled, our scalp being oiled, all of that, you guys. So I would highly recommend the Not Your, not your Mother's Naturals, the Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter in the pink bottle. That's that. The other shampoo I wanted to talk about, you guys, and I've used this several times. I just shook it up, but I promise it was like down there. This is the African Black Soap, the Dandruff Control Shampoo by Shea Moisture. I saw, I got this from TJ Maxx. As you guys can see, the price was $3.99. And I got this from TJ Maxx, and I have used this. Well, it's actually trying to, it's, it's going back down now. So it's about down to right there. I've used this maybe twice. And of course, like I said, I deal with dandruff from like my ears up and it could just be dry scab it could just be dandruff i don't know but soon as i use something like this and this is kind of on the runny side too this is this is a little if you are a shea moisture fan if you know shea moisture this is a little bit thinner than your average shea moisture also I don't have any more on me, but the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. You guys know this line right here. If you're a Shea Moisture fan, you know this line. The shampoo in this one is really good. Those are the two shampoos by Shea Moisture that I really highly recommend, that I really love. And especially if you're dealing with um, 
dry itchy scalp you guys dandruff control uh this is with tea tree oil and willow bark extract you guys this is really really good like i said you can find shea moisture at tj maxx now so just go look in the beauty supply section and the hair supply section over in tj maxx i got this for $3.99 if i was to probably go on their website or either go into ulta or go somewhere else that sells shea moisture this might be seven eight bucks so i got it for four bucks you couldn't beat it and i was not going to leave it on the shelf and plus i suffer from dandruff at times so this stuff is really good as well now let's get into the shampoos not the shampoos the conditioners i'm sorry guys the sh the condition the first conditioner i want to talk about you guys i just talked about it rat and rent and raved about it yesterday was the camille rose naturals moroccan pear conditioning custard I only used this one time and I used it right before I went to the hair show. That's what I washed my hair with. The sweet ginger cleansing. Let me make sure I'm saying it right. Sweet ginger cleansing rinse. And then followed up with this Moroccan pear, you guys. And oh my god, I knew upon excuse me. I knew upon putting it on my hair that I had I had to get more. And that's why when she had her sale last week. And somebody, thank you to whoever that was, one of my lovely subbies, she left it in the comment section below. She's and cause you remember yesterday I was like, I can't think of what it smells like. What it smell like? Fruit loops. It smelled like Fruit Loop cereal. It smells so good. You guys, as soon as I put this on my hair, my hair was so moisturizing. Moisturized, I was able to finger detangle. I knew. I didn't want this to be the only bottle on the shelf. And that's why I went immediately and put it in my cart as soon as I saw it on her website. So this is the Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard by Camille Rose. You can't go wrong with that. And let me talk about this right here. The Not Your Mother's Naturals. This is the Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Conditioner. This is... I really like the conditioner better than the shampoo the conditioner was just thick and it was creamy you guys it was just i mean can you not see that like seriously and it smells so good and i was able to finger detangle my hair my hair felt soft i mean for you to be able to run your fingers through this after you have shampooed your hair with a good conditioner i'm sold and so far the with these two right here can't go wrong um i also wanted to talk about the cream of nature pure honeys dr moisturizing dry defense conditioner you guys know i've used this this is an excellent conditioner you guys it's thick y'all know i love thick and creamy products period this is thick it's creamy um it's for dry dehydrated hair it's also moisturizing dry defense for moisture for for the you know to to keep your hair moisturized you guys you need to definitely also follow up with a great conditioner not a, not just a shampoo make sure your conditioner it either probably matches what your shampoo is saying like this these two match <laughs> these two match okay <laughs> so i mean sometimes we have to we might you know sometimes some of us might have to use a shampoo here and a conditioner here and a conditioner but if you are suffering from dry dehydrated hair you can't go wrong with any of the any of the cream of nature this is the coconut milk and i just have a little bit of this here and i need to re-up on this this is the detangling and conditioning conditioner and when that when i see conditioning conditioner that says something to me it's almost like it's going to be moisturizing and just it's a conditioner within a conditioner it's a condition within a conditioner y'all look y'all know what i'm saying you know your girl right too but yeah these two shampoos like i say anything by cream of nature lj is completely sold and last but not least as you guys can see i'm completely down to the last wire of this this is the raw shea butter restorative conditioner for dry damaged hair it has sea kelp and argan oil in it you guys um this is by shea moisture i this is one of my favorite uh conditioners by shea moisture now you guys seen what my favorite shampoos by shea moisture is but i didn't really too much care for the shampoo the conditioners that go along with those products why so i say sometimes you might have to dip and dab but it's in the same family i love the restorative conditioner you guys for my hair so definitely wanted to talk about this a little bit it's thick it's creamy 
it is actually for dry damaged hair and that's one thing that i do suffer with you guys just dry hair my hair has to just maintain moisture it's really time for me to wash and i was actually supposed to be doing it to washing my hair today you guys but i might have a little something up my sleeve i don't know we'll see but i wanted to talk to you guys about my favorite shampoos and conditioners and just and it's probably a ton more that i really really like but those are some of the ones that i really can vouch for i've used them on my hair a number of times except for this one this was the first time i used it but i knew that i liked it immediately when i used it you guys so definitely leave me some comments below any of the products mentioned here in this video you guys leave them in the comments below let me know what your experience was with it let me know if it's something you would like to try you guys i mean just talk let's talk also make sure you are reading the comments on any of my videos go back go through and read the comments some of my followers my subscribers you guys them naturally just be knowing what they be talking about high five y'all i love you guys you're pointing into not only me you're pointing into other naturalistas that may be reading the comments and it's just knowledge because we all trying to learn this natural hair thing together okay so i'm getting ready to end this video now y'all because i'm 20 minutes in but it was good information especially to my subscribers it was like yeah lj make a shampoo video i want to know what shampoo you you yeah so it's all for you guys i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video leave me some comments if you have not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you do so right now what are you waiting for thank you guys again so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in my next video